Christia Freeland is going to give a clinic on how to avoid answering a question. Uh, I want to ask regarding the crash on Highway 401 recently that killed an infant and his grandparents. The driver pursued by police was out on bail. He was facing a series of criminal charges. Uh, Pierre Polyev blames this on what he calls Justin Trudeau and the Liber Liberal government's catch and release laws. What do you make of this claim? And what do you make of the fact that this driver was out on bail? Well, thank you for the question. I think that the heart of every single Canadian has been broken. Notice how she stalled to think up a way to avoid answering the question. Uh, reading about that uh, terrible, terrible accident. Um, hearing the grief of the parents. Um, I... Uh... Notice the excessive head bobbing and hair flipping, trying to distract you. I just want to start by saying um, that um, I hope the parents and the family knows um, that all of us are crying with them. And I'm sure Mother's Day was an especially difficult day for them. Now Christia ends the condolences and turns to attack. Can't waste an opportunity to deflect the question further. Um, I do also want to say, I think it is really awful to try to score cheap partisan political points off of a family's grief. Um, I don't think that's a very Canadian way. Uh, our government has tightened bail laws, and that is the right thing to do. Christia pauses to consider her deception being fact-checked but continues on. It's absolutely essential for all Canadians to be safe in their communities. And it is absolutely essential you know, for a family driving down the highway, um, people visiting, grandparents visiting. And the congratulatory head nod and smile. Well done, Christia. To feel safe. Here is another example of question avoidance, the endless babble. Uh, CBC News is now reporting that Honda Canada's investment in southwestern Ontario will include a billion dollar lithium ion separator facility in Port Colborne. How much will the federal government be contributing specifically to this plant and how many jobs and economic spin-offs for the Niagara region are you counting on in return? Okay, thank you for that question. Um, and one of the reasons that I am so happy to be here in St. Thomas is to see with my own eyes a community that has not too long ago experienced a really devastating economic blow, a community that knows what it is to lose jobs and to be feeling like you're in decline, to now be a community that is vigorously growing. Um, it's wonderful to see, and you can see it on the street. And we really believe, you know, when you think about what is our economic plan. Notice this is taking forever to get to the point, avoiding the simple yet specific question. Our economic plan is fairness for every generation, with a particular focus on millennials and Gen Z. It is about investing in housing. It is about investing in making life more affordable. It is about investing in economic growth and doing all of that in a fiscally responsible way. And I think what you're seeing in St. Thomas with you know, VW, jobs, a community growing a future, and at the same time, social infrastructure, like this amazing daycare center. She is trying to tire you out, distract you into thinking a different question was asked. To me, that epitomizes our economic plan in action and what we need across the country. Um, when it comes to Honda, uh, what we're seeing now is our economic plan when it comes to the next generation of cars, when it comes to EVs, is working. Canada is now rated by Bloomberg ahead of China as the country with the best full supply chain in electric batteries. 
that is a remarkable mm -hmm. thing. And we're now seeing more and more companies are coming to Canada. A true expert in deception. Eventually, you just tire of her mindless babble and give up. With Honda, the federal support to that remarkable investment is through our investment tax credits, including a new full supply chain investment tax credits, design investment tax credit designed to encourage exactly the kind of investment you're talking about, which is have companies invest across the supply chain so we can take advantage of the fact that we have the natural resources. We know how to process them. We know how to turn them into batteries and cars. And what we want to see is more and more companies taking advantage of that full supply chain. We have investment tax credits. Well done, Christia. Your teacher, Justin Trudeau, has taught you well. Those are fully detailed in the budget, and that is the support that Honda is getting from the federal government. And maybe I'll just take a final opportunity on the investment tax credits to say I am really hopeful that the first two investment tax credits, um, which are part of Bill C-59, will be passed into law this month, and that two more will be passed into law by the end of the summer. We need all parties to help us in that work. And it's not, it's not some abstract thing. Well, we are almost seven minutes in to trying to get answers to only two simple questions. Kind of a waste of time, eh? This has been The Art of Bullshit with Christia Freeland.